Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a comparison review between these Venom Elite boxing gloves and the Venom Impact boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm going to be doing a comparison review between these Venom Impact and these Venom Elite boxing gloves. Um, the Elites being probably their most popular glove. They're probably well, uh, most well known. Um, these Impacts I've been using for a while now and um, are actually probably my favorite Venom glove that's a sub $100 glove. Um, I got them both in Velcro closure like you see here. Uh, both are in 14 ounces. And um, you can get these anywhere between 8 to 16 ounces um, as well as different color schemes. Uh, both use a synthetic leather uh, polyurethane type material. Uh, the one uh, difference I did notice on their website in which they advertise it is that the Elite model that you see here, although it's synthetic, is supposed to be made uh, handmade in Thailand, uh, where the Impact model, I believe these are either made in China or in Pakistan, but these aren't advertised as being uh, made in Thailand. Um, to be honest with you, I couldn't really tell much of a difference in terms of quality between the two. Um, but outside of that, there are some um, notable, you know, some key differences between the two gloves. I personally uh, like the impacts more than the elites, uh, but that's my own personal preference. So, just to show you guys, the profile of the gloves are almost identical in terms of both the length of the glove and the width of the glove. Design-wise, obviously, Venom uses a lot of graphics. You can see that the elites have a little bit of a, a different look with the Venom. Um, that's written, you know, vertically down the glove where the impacts have that venom kind of the serpent head uh, But you can see they both have some unique unique designs uh, Both have that three and a half inch velcro strap with the weight indicator on the same spot and they both use kind of that rubberized embossed um, Patch on the back of the velcro strap so you can see here um, That the wrist also on the elite is a little bit higher. You can see that it has a little bit uh, thicker and higher of a wrist right there and kind of going around the hand compartment area you can see there again the width of it's about the same and rotating it around just to show you guys the actual striking surface again you can see they're pretty much identical both in terms of width and uh, how flat they are or should I say how round they are so you can see there again the material that they use on the impact has more of a matte feel and texture to this finish even though this is their camouflage model you can see the actual texture right there when i bring it up close where the this one actually has a little bit more of a kind of a vinyl a leather feel on the elite model and again uh both synthetic right there so you can see thumb wise they're pretty much identical again with the thumb the comfort is really good on both both feel very ergonomic both have an attached thumb and then looking on the palm side again you can see that the velcro strap starts in the same position stitching is pretty much identical um, the one noticeable difference i did see again with the elites compared to the impact uh, was going to be um, just how high up the actual wrist goes you can see the actual padding on the wrist and the palm on the elites is a little bit higher not by much um, but I feel that the actual padding on the Elite model right here is a little bit softer and flatter, where the impact is a little bit denser and feels a little bit thicker. So you, in the impact glove, I feel like you get a much more snug fit, where the Elites feel a little bit roomier on the inside. Um, you can see they, they both have a uh, ventilated palm as well as a grip bar, um, as well as ventilated thumbs. One thing you notice about the grip bar on the impact model is it does use the mesh where the Elite is all closed off. Um, and then the inside of the actual glove, the hand compartment, both use kind of that same uh, polyester nylon wicking, moisture wicking liner. Both have the same kind of 14 ounce tag right here with the Venom logo on it. Um, so again, the probably the most noticeable differences on the exterior other than the design would be um, this wrist and palm area being sitting up a little bit higher than the impacts and the amount of padding that they use in the impacts compared to the elites. Now, the big difference between these two 
is the density of the triple layer, triple layer foam. So they both advertise uh, the gloves as using a multi-layer foam, triple layer foam padding, but the elites are definitely more of on the medium to softer side. So with these gloves, um, these are a little bit more of a puncher style glove. You can feel um, the shots come through. There's you know pretty good amount of feedback. With the impacts, you can see it definitely has a little bit more of a denser feel to it. So when I push down on this foam on the impact, you can see it's more denser. I feel that this, uh, the impact model gives me great feedback, just like the Elite does, but it does a better job of absorbing shock in the impact model. So I feel like I can throw heavier shots with the impacts more than I can with the Elites um, and feel less of the shock come through, through my hands and my joints. Now, again, that's completely subjects to some people like the soft padding they like that kind of that mexican horsehair feel where you can really uh, feel the shots come through and that's not to say that the elites aren't protective gloves they are they're just not as protective in my opinion as the impacts one other thing i also do like about the impacts a little bit more than the elites i feel like i got a little bit better of a pop with these it had a little bit more of a kind of a, a, a better connecting feel in the impacts than i got in the elites uh, because of the way the foam uh, compresses when you land on the bag with these. Um, one thing I also noticed is the finger compartment on the impacts. Um, I felt is a little bit um, more comfortable. I wouldn't say it's deeper. I think the depth of the finger parts are about the same, but I felt it was a little bit, a little bit more comfortable uh, than the Elite model, which I liked a little bit more as far as the comfort and the impact. So. I definitely like the, the feel and the snugness of the impact over the Elite model. And then lastly is gonna be the cost of the gloves. The Elites, uh, generally speaking, at regular price are about, they're $79, where the impacts at regular price are $69. So they're $10 cheaper, um, which is not much. I mean, obviously the price point for both are pretty much similar, off by 10 bucks. Um, but I do personally like the impacts more for my personal taste. Um, not only is it $10 cheaper, they're both synthetic. So if you're looking for a genuine leather glove, um, they both don't qualify for that. But as far as just the fit feel and the actual feel of the foam on the impacts, I feel like they give me better feedback, a little bit better protection, and the hand compartment is a little bit more snug. Now, if you do have larger hands, if you're, you know, have longer fingers, or fatter, fatter hands, if I want to call it that, uh, then the elites probably will fit you a little bit better because of how snug these impacts are. Uh, but in my opinion, I think the impacts are, are a better glove performance wise, in my opinion. And then weight wise, let's go ahead and compare how true to weight these gloves are. Let's go. I got both left-handed gloves. So for the sake of being fair, the left here is going to be 13 point two ounces for the elites and the left for the impacts are going to be about 15 points so you can see there's a, a big jump in, in the actual padding or the weight of the glove you can see that these impacts weigh about an ounce more than they're advertised and then the elites are about an ounce less and you can actually feel it when you pick up the gloves you can tell that the impacts weigh about two ounces more than elites again um, that might be a, a deal killer for some of you, but I, again, when it comes to weight, I'm not really concerned about weight when it comes to a training glove, uh, as long as it feels good and it performs well from what I'm using it for. That's what more I'm, uh, of, of what I'm concerned with when it comes to these training gloves. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll make sure to put the link in the description box where you can find these Venom gloves and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.